More than 18,000 were killed in a massive explosion and fire at a dairy farm. After a large fire at a dairy farm in Texas. Dairy farm in West Texas has left at least 18,000 cattle dead. Oh my God, you can hear him screaming. Oh my God. This is the sound of 18,000 cows being burned alive. So I'm sure most of you are aware by now that there was a massive explosion in Texas killing 18,000 dairy cows, uh, a horrific, horrific tragedy. Almost every major news uh, platform has done a story on this. From what I can see, they don't have a concrete explanation for it, but it seems to be something to do with the methane that the dairy cows produce. So we've got 18,000 cows dying at an explosion at, and fire at a family dairy, a family dairy farm family dairy farm with 18,000 cows. That's a factory farm. So it's in West Texas marking the deadliest such barn blaze on record in the United States. So this is a history making fire like there hasn't been one like it ever. Firefighters rescued one employee from the South Fork Dairy uh, near Dimmit on, on Monday as flames raced through the building and into holding pens. According to images and statements from the Castro County Sheriff's Office, the cause of the fire was under investigation and it's not immediately possible to contact members of the family who own the farm in one of the biggest uh, milk production counties. The blaze prompted calls from Animal Welfare Institute among the oldest US uh, animal protection groups for federal laws to prevent uh, barn fires which kill hundreds of thousands of animals per year. The blaze, which was the most devastating US barn fire involving cattle since the AWI began tracking such incidents in 2013, about 6.5 million farm animals have died in such fires in the last decade, most of them poultry. Most of them, birds. These fires do happen um, because you have a, a bunch of animals contained in one area, they can't escape, they're all stuck in there. You can imagine what it's like to be burned alive. I mean, it's pretty hard to imagine actually, but you can imagine flames hitting your face and you're just overheating and your skin bubbling off of your body. And it would be extremely, extremely terrifying. Now, on top of that, imagine that you don't have the capacity to understand what fire is and what's happening. You don't know when it's going to be over or if it's going to be over and an animal without those deeper faculties might suffer more in a situation like that or might be even more traumatized. And then you multiply that by 18,000 here. Horrific, horrific tragedy. But this calls into question um, uh, common practice in dairy farms, which is what they do with manure. And they do something called anaerobic digestion. They scrape the manure into a big stor storage ponds called lagoons where bacteria feed on it and release a gas called methane. Methane is the main ingredient in natural gas burned in home furnaces and stoves. It's also a powerful greenhouse gas. We all know the cows cause methane and it, you know, it contributes to climate change. We all know that. But what the dairy farmers are doing is they're scraping up the manure keeping it in these vats and then they're making a gas from it in order to sell for natural gas. I'm not sure if this dairy farm was was scraping that manure, putting it in one of these big vats and using it to produce methane for the natural gas industry. But the amount of methane that these cows are just producing in, in, in these dairy farms, they stink to high heaven. Like, you know, the, the feces is putrid, fermenting. It stinks. You get it on your feet. Oh, it's it's not just like if you're walking out in the grass and you smell like a cow patty on the floor. It's putrefying feces. And the cows are walking in it. And it's just horrible. It stinks. To live in a dairy farm with 18,000 cows must be a horrible experience. Now there's been talk that the methane ignited and burned these cows alive. New fear unlocked for the dairy cows is they're imprisoned in a factory farm, surrounded by methane, and at any moment it's a ticking time bomb for that methane to explode and kill them all. Obviously dairy farms are there to make money. Here in this Daily Mail article, we can see that the, the animals were valued at around 2,000 each, meaning the total cost of the cattle destroyed was $36 million. So they look at it in terms of like, oh, how much money did I lose? A female worker is critically injured after she became trapped inside the milking building during the blaze. She had to be rescued by firefighters, but the cows burned alive. Residents went on to say that the blast was completely unexpected while also worrying about the possible after effects on the local economy. There's a lot of money that we have and a lot of milk too. So I think it's really crazy that that happened. It's kind of painful because it's like, that's kind of what we do here. That's how we get our money for like the city and all that. So it's just a major drop for us. So basically they're concerned about the economic consequences of all these cows burning to death. Here's what I've got to say about that. Number one, you shouldn't be treating these animals as property, breeding them into existence, keeping them on these dairy farms, sticking your hand inside their anus to inject them with bull semen into their vagina, murdering the male calves, exploiting these dairy cows for their entire life. You know, and they get uh, mastitis, uh, lameness, uh, they're being mutilated, having their horns cauterized at birth, 
Dairy farms are horrific torture factories, and a dairy farm with 18,000 cows. You can imagine that the practices there are just horrifying. So the amount of suffering these animals are going through at this dairy farm to begin with is unacceptable. Now, number one, the cows are having their rights violated here. They are treated as property, treated as resources, treated as units of monetary value. The dairy farmers only look after the animals in terms of welfare as much as it helps their pocket. The number one issue here is, what are you doing exploiting 18,000 dairy cows, killing their babies, sending them to a slaughterhouse to be minced up from hamburger meat to begin with? All right, they shouldn't even be there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through some of these comments. Let's see, let's see what's up. Someone says, uh, terrifying and super sad, poor dairy cows. Yeah, I wonder how many of these people are vegan. By being vegan, you boycott these industries. You've, you've taken a stand against these industries. So please don't say poor dairy cows if you're not vegan, because when you consume dairy, you're subsidizing the industry that tortures, mutilates, violates their rights and murders them anyway. Obviously being burned alive is another level of horrifying, but if you look at any dairy farm investigation, you'll be almost just as horrified, but the suffering is prolonged. All 18,000 of those dairy cows will be murdered brutally anyway, right? Now, if you're going to say poor dairy cows, you had better be boycotting the dairy industry and other industries that exploit and violate the rights of sentient animals like dairy cows. Someone says, uh, I've heard Texas love their barbecue, but this is really something. They won't be going hungry for a while. This is a person's mentality as a product of a sick society, looking at the, the charred corpses of these animals who burned alive in horrific, horrific uh, suffering. Looking at that and saying, I've heard Texas love their barbecue, but this is really something. They won't be going hungry for a while. Well, purely psychotic. Imagine how the farmer's feeling. That's their livelihood at the end of the day. So 18,000 cows can be burned alive, literally in the most horrific, horrific way. And people will still be concerned about the farmer's livelihood. The feelings of a farmer over the horrifying suffering of 18,000 cows. Sally says, poor animals frightened and in pain. She's looking at things with the right perspective, but again, hope Sally's not subsidizing the dairy industry. Kevin Parker, it's not farming, that's the problem, but mass scale commercial farming, it's quite possible to produce meat and dairy locally in humane conditions, but choices are made not to by people. Supermarket supply chains have to take a chunk of responsibilities, why I avoid them? Uh, so Kevin Parker's saying that um, it's not farming, that's a problem that caused this, it's large scale commercial farming. Probably it has to be a larger scale farm for them to be scraping up this manure for methane and that. So maybe, maybe yeah, less likely to cause a massive fire. But Kevin Parker, like, are you making the claim that we can mass produce meat and dairy just locally for every single human being on earth. I don't think without factory farms, it's even close to possible to uh, meet the demand of everyone else. But even that's just a, that's just tangential to the main point here. Local meat and dairy decapitate animals. So I'm not sure what you're talking about. Have you ever been to a local slaughterhouse? I have, and uh, they're just as horrifying as any other slaughterhouse. <laughs> The solution is not to buy local meat and dairy. I mean, there's factory farms that are local to people, so I don't know what you're talking about. This, this, this dairy farm here was probably local. The solution is to completely boycott animal products. This is sufficiently traumatizing and horrifying. The industry needs to be dismantled. As of today, I'll no longer buy any dairy products ever or never. Very good, Ruth. This is what I like to hear. Ruth is just logical, compassionate. Good on you, Ruth. Antoine Guatha, how can we imagine having 18,000 cows on the same farm, the world's turned crazy. Yeah, because uh, it's basically to meet demand. Basically, that's it. So if you're part of that demand, then you better reconsider being part of that demand and instead boycott your contribution to the demand and be vegan. Jane Taylor says, that is absolutely awful. There is no excuse for factory farming and I come from family, from farming family. It's being driven by people wanting cheaper food and milk and farmers, actually, they probably aren't farmers in the true sense, wanting to maximize profits. We have very few factory farms in the UK and I'd personally like to see those closed. There's uh, over 800, is it over a thousand now mega farms? US style mega farms in the UK. Now, when you talk about pigs, you're talking about ni over 90%, 95% of the pigs are factory farmed here in the UK. Almost all of the chickens are factory farmed here in the UK. And when it comes to dairies, there are a bunch of mega dairies. Look at my um, mini doc, White Gold. There's mega dairies everywhere. And also, just because uh, the smaller dairies are less likely to cause this kind of methane ignited fire, they're still violating the animal's rights. They're still exploiting them for their milk, stealing their babies, sending them to a slaughterhouse. 
James Sands, that's a lot of well done steak right there, but on the real, at least they are free now from the nightmares they had to endure at the hands of humans. I've never heard such a contradictory comment from someone in my life. The first sentence, that's a lot of well done steak right there, probably just trying to be funny, but it's a, I don't know, some got, it's a male thing. They see something horrific, they try to poke light at it. I don't know what, what, what why they do that, but that's just what males do. Sickening thing to say in a, in a imagine if there were humans, 18,000 humans are burned alive and I said, there's a lot of well done steak right there. You'd just think I was a piece of shit. like you wouldn't, you know, think it was funny at all. But on the real, at least they're free now from the nightmares they had to endure at the hands of humans. So James, you should be vegan because you understand what dairy farms are. They're nightmares for animals. So good on you, mate. But first sentence is stupid. This is a result of intense factory farming. If you're going to eat meat, please buy local. I have no words. If these were dairy cows, then it's doubly as heartbreaking. We do not need milk meant for baby cows. The pain and terror these poor animals must have felt. Okay, so it seems like she's half on the right page and half off. Yes, the fire with 18,000 cows is a result of factory farming. You couldn't have 18,000 cows in one spot without it being factory farming. But the, the local argument is so stupid. That dairy farm was local to someone. So what do you mean when you say local? It's uh, stupid. I think in their mind, they think, oh, local's like a, just a two or three cows. Look, you can't meet demand with local farms. And also the local farms decapitate the animals in a slaughterhouse. That's not the solution. Like you said, we don't need milk meant for baby cows. That's not really the ethical argument. The ethical argument is, no, we don't need it. And it's incredibly horrific for the animals. Are there any welfare incentives in place? First of all, I'd condemn that number of in one farm, especially indoors, shameful. Yeah, but you know, if it was half that number, would you not condemn it? If it was one cow, uh, being exploited for their milk and decapitated, would you not condemn it? Yes, they burned alive. It was a horrible accident. The probability of that accident happening is quite high, so it's quite negligent of the industry to have that much methane surrounding cows, that many cows in one place, but the solution is to live vegan, not welfare initiatives. Well, you wanna look after cows before you decapitate them. That's not in the interest of the animals. Adam Watkins says, this is tremendously sadding. No, no entity or farm should have this level of livestock, period. Well then, boycott animal products and higher mass should be in check with some ethical legal standards of responsibility. Like how about they have legal rights, the animals, and we don't exploit them for animal products. How about that? Pure negligence, just sad, disturbing. Captive animals rely on us for their welfare. Yes, they do, but this is to exploit them. This isn't uh, looking after the animals just for their welfare. This is to give them the amount of welfare legally required in order for them to exploit them for monetary gain. Dairy farmers are not just animal welfare advocates. They are business people who are exploiting and killing the cows for profit. Think before you eat, shop local. Oh my God, more local? That dairy farm, well, I'm gonna repeat it. That dairy farm was local to someone. Know your area and treatment. Don't support factory farming. You don't need rock dollar bottom milk or cheese or butter. Think, stop the cycle of abuse. So you're, you're saying that people should spend a whole lot of money on a, some local dairy farm with three cows even though those cows will be decapitated anyway. Uh, and you expect the whole population to do that. The whole population. Here's something easy the population can do right now is boycott these products and have some soya milk. I bet the smell was amazing for miles around. Nick Piper, you are one very disturbed individual. Ryan says, what a waste of steak. Another disturbed individual. Shirzi says, so sad. Now the price of milk will jump five times higher as soon as they hear this news, just like eggs did several months ago. So no concern for the animals at all. Thomas says, true tragedy, so much food wasted. Wow. This is what happens when you view animals as products. It's like, oh my God, a, ba a bag of potatoes has been burned. Now people won't be able to eat that. If people's main concern when they hear of 18,000 cows being burned alive is that it's a waste of food or, oh my God, the price of milk's gonna rise. They really have their priorities mixed up because uh, that just goes to show the mentality towards these animals is so far below the mentality we have towards like a human tragedy. These animals are viewed at as resources and products and nothing. Most probably one of these brain dead activists caused the fire. Here, Les just really trying to blame it on the activists. You'll see uh, farmers always trying to do that. Like when there's an expose uh, investigation, they'll try to blame the activists for a, an animal dying in there when the animals die in there all the time. And um, yeah, if you don't have any evidence that an activist caused that fire, um, then why are you saying it? Stephen Brown, a tragedy without doubt, but all the virtue signalers out here, please give it a rest. Most of you still tuck into your steaks, use plenty of milk and take your kids uh, for McDonald's burgers. Yeah, Steve's just saying like a little bit um, hypocritical for people to be 
uh, claiming to care about these animals whilst they're subsidizing the industry that exploit and murder them. All right, so there you have it. So my um, answer to this is that we should not be exploiting animals. They deserve uh, fundamental rights uh, not to be enslaved and treated as products. They deserve to have the right not to be treated as property. So basically they cannot be mass exploited for dairy to begin with. And I don't think local farms are the, the problem. What you want a, a million local farms around decapitating cows. These things can all be avoided if everyone just boycotts dairy and chooses another plant milk and uh, stops eating meat dairy, eggs, all those products that harm, exploit, murder animals. Leave your comments down below and I'll see you in the next video.